It started out as a spoof on Maxwell Smart's shoe phone, but the device developed by Flinders University's Dr. Paul Gardner Stephen has great potential to employ new technology to boost the quality of life of our older generation. Last year I was asked to help uh, organise some props for a church camp uh, with some of the skits and drama presentations there, which had a, a Get Smart thing to it. And I guess my engineering background, I thought if I'm going to make a shoe phone, it may as well work. So thinking about what some of my peers uh, in biomedical engineering are working on, it occurred to me that it has great potential as a, a medical device for remote patient monitoring in that we can put the electronics in the, uh, the heel of the shoe and it's a very good location to, uh, to have the electronics. Yeah, so what we're looking to do with the, uh, the shoe phone is really make something which we think can improve the quality of life of older people. So if we can make a device that can detect when someone falls and automatically call for help, for example for ambulance or um, other appropriate service, then we think we can enable a large number of older people to stay independent living in their own homes. But in fact, better than that, because the device is truly mobile, uh, they can use it to go and visit when they're visiting friends, when they're going shopping, all of the things that really enable them to stay engaged in life and enjoy good quality of life rather than simply good quality of care. And the, the shoe is a really good location for that. I mean, if you have a, a shoe device, essentially it looks like a shoe. It's something completely simple, normal and familiar. They don't have to learn how to use it. They don't have to remember to put something extra on. They don't have the extra weight and bulk of wearing anything additional. It just becomes a completely seamless application for them. So that's what we're hoping to do. But what we're looking to do in the coming year or so is to work with uh, shoe companies, with mobile phone companies, to really create a, a final prototype device which is completely sealed, weatherproof, and has all of the functionality that we're hoping to have. The shoe phone will provide students at Flinders University with opportunities for hands-on research. Uh, Flinders University has had a strength in biomedical engineering and medical devices for some years. Um, more recently, the university has declared Medical Device and Technologies Group as one of its research strength areas. We've been working very closely with the industry and the government and with the local clinical staff in order to develop relevant medical devices. Those medical devices reach across into the assistive technology space as well, so we're looking at developing devices that will help people, for example, to stay in their homes for longer, so those people who perhaps might otherwise have to go into a high care establishment are now able to, to stay for longer in their homes because of some of the devices that we're developing. Recently we put together the Medical Device Partnering Programme, so Flinders University leads this programme and the other two universities in South Australia are also involved. The idea of this program is to try, again, to bring those groups together, so to bring together the medical device companies, to bring together the researchers and the clinical staff, and to get them to start to look at projects very early, so that what's this, what the aim of this is to stop us as researchers developing things that we find interesting and then trying to push them out of the lab. Instead, we're getting involvement from those end user groups at a very early stage. Paul's shoe phone has attracted interest around the world and discussions have started with an Australian shoe manufacturer on possible production. In the meantime, Paul's ingenuity is helping us take great strides towards a better quality of life for our older generation.